Hey, if you're planning on traveling for Thanksgiving this week, how much more are you going to be spending on airfare, car rental, and bus and train service? We are joined by Joseph P. Schwederman, PhD, President Transportation Research Forum at DePaul University. Good morning to you. Always good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, so you did a breakdown analysis of these costs. So tell me first what you looked at overall. We looked at the price of uh, travel in 32 markets at different points during November. Uh, booking 10 days in advance, air travel, bus, train, and uh, uh, rent a car. And we compare that, how things look over time. And uh, we were surprised at how things, uh, how high they are, particularly for air travel this Sunday. But there's some real bargains out there, too. Okay, so let's talk about that. First, let's talk about the cost of airfare and train travel. What did you discover? Well, something interesting that happened with the air travel, a lot of business traffic out there. People aren't flying for work, corporate travelers. So the weekdays, uh, a lot of value out there. The Wednesday before Thanksgiving was uh, not a whole lot more than normal. And uh, uh, even the week before Thanksgiving, they were barely any more than Memorial Day, despite the recovery. But boy, you want to go on the Sunday on those peak flights, uh, you wait to the last minute, it fares up $80 one way compared to just a few weeks ago. So you're being hit in the pocketbook. Huh. Rail and bus, uh, somewhat surprisingly, are really high, uh, cheaper on Sunday. So coming back by bus or train, uh, there's some value out there. But day before Thanksgiving, it's a lot of sold out services. You know, I keep hearing everybody says if you're going to travel on a holiday, travel on the holiday like Thanksgiving Day and Christmas Day because you save money. Do you find that trend remains true today? That's exactly true. And uh, your sweet spot is really the, uh, the afternoon of Thanksgiving through about noon Friday. Uh, mm -hmm. People don't want to be traveling then. Uh, rail and bus and air services are mostly running full schedules on those days. They, they get into a rhythm. They like to keep uh, those, those airplanes moving. So those are uh, uh, highly discounted, not quite as much as in the past. And mm -hmm. I think the, uh, the real lesson here is people are back flying in a really big way. And Thanksgiving sort of epitomizes uh, how the pleasure travelers are dominant out there. And, uh, uh, you know, the uh, the last minute booker uh, gets hit in the pocketbook. Yeah, you're going to get the painful uh, money that you're going to owe more so. Okay, so let's talk car rentals. How do those prices compare and what did you learn about that? Well, we looked at one way car rentals. If you were trying to get from point A to point B uh, between 150 and 450 miles, that's a route, uh, a length where, you know, Airbus and rail or in car are all competitive. You will consider all three if you're uh, in certain markets. And Thanksgiving was kind of a war zone. No cars, $400, $500, even $600 one-way car rentals. Now it's uh, actually cheaper than flying if you have a group of two and you pay your gas. And so uh, we're seeing that that's a good outlet for people who fail to book those airfares in advance, can get rental cars. Very little sold out. Again, it's not super cheap. It might be $180, $200 one way. But boy, compared to walking up and paying those two one-way airfares, it's uh, it's not a bad option. Definitely something to consider. Okay, so what can these prices tell us, or what can we learn how this is going to affect the upcoming Christmas holiday? Yeah, I think we're in a period of wild swings in pricing. Without again, without the business traveler, things are there's going to be some real value out there starting uh, Monday, Tuesday, all the way up to about December 15th, because there's kind of a vacuum without business travelers and pleasure travelers tend to stay home during that period. And Christmas is spread out over a longer period. So I think we're gonna have uh, less of the peaking we see. But, but two things are happening. One, uh, fuel prices are up, oil prices are up, and that hurts the airlines. It's gonna push prices up a bit. And secondly, even more people are coming out of the woodwork <laughs> to return to normal. Whereas Thanksgiving is about 90% of pre-pandemic. Christmas could be closer to full pre-pandemic. So I think, uh, uh, Overall, not looking too bad for consumers, but bargain basement fares uh, starting December 20th may be a thing of the past. Okay, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that. What are you going to do today? If you want to travel, what's the best advice you have for everybody over the December well, holidays? Well, I mean, don't rule out the train or bus. I think people instinctively think I'm going to drive or right. I'm going to fly. And, uh, and you know, there's, there's some new carriers out there in Chicago. We have Flixbus just came and started serving our town. Amtrak's back at full schedule. And... Uh, they're uh, they're feeling pretty good about their situation with the new uh, you know Biden and the president Amtrak Joe so to speak so there's uh, 
there's a lot of outlets to air travel yeah. if you uh, can't find a good price. Okay, I like that idea. Maybe a train ride somewhere. That would be awesome. As always, we appreciate you joining us. Good to see you this morning, and thanks for sharing your analysis with us. We'll be Thank right you. back. Thank you.